Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very exciting video. It is my review of some Sigma products that I received in the mail. Sigma was nice enough to send me these for free, so I'm just gonna let you know from the beginning. Um, this is my first like free package from a brand, so I'm so excited and I had to share it with you guys. Um, so yeah, pretty much I review brushes, a bunch of their products, and let you know what I think of them at the end. My opinion is 100% honest, and yeah, so let's get into this. This is what the big box looks like that Sigma sent me because I joined their affiliate team. So they were generous enough to send this box over with some goodies in it. So thank you Sigma for sending that. That was so nice of you. This is all of the stuff they sent me. A few brushes, an eyeshadow palette, a few brush cleaners, um, just some random stuff, a lipstick, you know, just a few goodies. And so I'm going to be testing some of this stuff out because I actually have never tried Sigma out before this. I already primed my eyes. I'm trying something a little different just because my eyeshadow wasn't as like seamless as I wanted it to be. It wasn't really like blending really nicely. I don't know. There were like patches and maybe it was because I did my whole face first and then my eyes. So to prime my eyelids, I just added the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and then added a little bit of airspun over it just so it's nice and set. So this is the first eyeshadow palette. This is the Warm Neutrals palette. It's really neutral. It does have a lot of shimmers though, like this one, this one, this one. These are more of like a sheen right here. And then there's like these mattes. So it's a pretty good variety of them. I'm excited to see how well these work and how well they blend on my eyes, especially because I did a new technique. So hopefully it's a little bit better. Also, a quick disclaimer. Just because I was sent these products does not mean that I'm not going to be brutal on them and brutally honest. So first, I'm going to go in with the Sigma Tapered Blending E40. This is a really big fluffy blending brush, so I'm going to use my transition with this brush. I'm going to be going in with this color right here. This is a really pretty orange neutral tone, and this will be a really pretty um, transition. So this palette does have a little bit of kickback, as you can see right there. First off, these brushes are so soft. Like, this is so soft. Feels really nice. I don't really know what kind of look I'm going for. Honestly, I don't really know. Because there's not many eyeshadows that like correspond with each other in this palette. So I might just do like a really subtle look just to kind of see how the eyeshadows and the brushes work. That's pretty much the point of this video. It's a really pretty color. Definitely. It blended really nice though, honestly. I don't know if it was my technique, my new technique, or the eyeshadow, or a combination of both, but I am liking it. It's cute. It's a really pretty transition color. I really enjoy that, actually. I'm going to bring it really high towards my brow, just to really kind of make it a little smoky, you know, smoke it out a little. The next shade I'm going to go in with is this dark purple right here. And this is going to go right in our outer corner. This is a really pretty purple, but it kind of has a little bit of glitter in it. So I'm hoping it doesn't really show up on the eyes. So I'm going to use that same brush. Again, this is the E40. See how it's a little patchy? Like, do you see that? Where it doesn't want to like blend right here and right here. I don't know why it does that. The next shade I'm going to go in with is this shade right here. So it's a really light purple, like it has like a little bit of a sheen to it. I think that would be pretty. I'm using the Sigma E55. It says it's called the eye shading brush. The thing is, when you like tap this off, like watch. So I'm going to dip it in, okay? 
Like, do you see all that? I feel like it all comes off the brush, which is kind of frustrating because I feel like the brush is, like, clean. So, I don't know. I'm just going to tap it lightly. There we go. And then I'm just going to apply this on my inner, the inner part. Mm, I don't know if I like this shade. So I'm going to go in with this silver right here. See if this one works a little better. This one has like no fallout. It's weird. Alright, let's try this one. Oh, there we go. I don't know. These need a spray. Yeah. I can't. These definitely need a spray. So I'm going to use the Milani Make It Last setting spray and just spray my brush. Now, let's see. Oh, yeah. Way better. I don't know. I am not the biggest fan of this eyeshadow palette because it, it says it's the warm neutrals. Girl. I feel like half of these are cool toned. Like this is not warm. This is not warm. This, eh. Like I don't know. I just feel like you can't really do much with these mattes. Like what am I, what am I gonna do with this pink? And not, like you could put that in the inner corner, but then I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like the palette doesn't really go together. I feel like they should have made like. A cool toned and then I really like warm toned with a bunch of different orange shades and burgundies and just a lot of different pretty warm tones <laughs> okay I'm gonna try a different brush for the outer corner because I feel like this brush is too fat and just is not working well so, so I'm gonna go in with the E70 this is kind of like a little slant to it this one's also very soft so I'm gonna go in with that purple again really try and build up the outer corner oh yeah this is what I needed so now we're gonna go on to the face I'm going to prime my face with the Fenty Beauty and then for foundation I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier and the CoverGirl Outlast I'm gonna see how well this blends with the brush they sent me but if I don't like how it blends with a brush I will use this on top. The brush that they sent me is the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki. Kabuki. <laughs> Kabuki. This is what it looks like. It has two slanted sides and then in the middle it's kind of like a triangle. So this is really interesting. I've never used a foundation brush like this so this should be fun. So first I'm just going to prime real quick. I absolutely love this primer. I think it's so good. I think it's so good. It makes my skin look really smooth. As smooth as my skin can look. Because, I don't know, like, do you guys have any suggestions on, like, texture and acne? Okay, so once again, this is the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki. Let's see. Okay, coverage. Holy crap. I think I'm slowly turning to a brush girl. Isn't that crazy, guys? Like, I used to only use sponges. Like, only use sponges. I hated applying foundations with my brushes. I don't know if it was just because I had, like, bad brushes, but they used to always leave, like, streaks on my face. But this one didn't. This one looks really cute. Looking good, Sigma. So for my concealer, I'm going to do the Tarte Shape Tape in Light Neutral, my fave. And I am going to use a sponge to blend this out just because I hate using brushes to blend out my concealer. I've always hated it. I don't know. I just don't feel like it blends it out seamlessly with a brush. So that's why I always do a sponge. So I'm using the L'Oreal Sponge. I love this concealer. Like, look at how pretty that looks. Oh, 
This is such a pretty combination. I'm obsessed. So now I'm going to bake my face with the Cody Airspun. Top looks like this. Is that upside down? No. That's good. <laughs> So they didn't really send me any like bronzer, highlight brushes, nothing like that. So they pretty much just sent me a bunch of eye brushes. So I'm going to do my eyebrows, finish the rest of my face portion, um, and then we will go back to eyes, fix up this hot mess. Okay, so most of the face portion is done. I did use a couple of the brushes. I used the... Sigma E65, this very small angled brush. I actually use this to clean up my eyebrows with concealer and it worked so good. I think because it's so tiny, like it's literally so tiny and it worked really good. So I think this is my new fave cleaning up my eyebrows brush. And then I also use this very big um, flat kind of brush. This is the Sigma Large Shader E60. I actually use this to contour my nose with because you can see it's a little fluffy so it doesn't disperse the product too harshly and it actually looks really nice and petite. So yeah. So I'm going to go back in with that Sigma Warm Neutrals palette and I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. I kind of want to go in with this dark brown right here. I'm going to use... I'm going to wipe off this brush that we used for the glitter. This is the E55. I'm just going to wipe that off real quick. <gasps> what? Does that not look purple? Wow, I need to wipe that away. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. I'm going to use... Where is my brush? I'm going to use the Real Techniques shading brush. It's like a small little brush like this. So let's try this again. So now I'm going to go in with the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner. It looks like this. Their packaging is so cute. How it's like holographic. I love it. So it looks like that. I have not used a pod eyeliner in forever. Like I think like three or four years. So bear with me. I might have to cut this footage out. <laughs> this is the Sigma Winged Liner E06. So you can literally see it's like so tiny and it has a little bit of a curve in it. So hopefully that's really easy to apply liner. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I gotta get up close and brush my mirror. I'm sorry. So this is one wing. It's not that bad. It's not the worst. I'm just not used to it, but it did take me a while. But I kind of like it, honestly. It's really nice. So these are the two wings. I actually really like that pod. It dries like quickly but not too quickly where you like can't work with the wing that like you started. I don't know. It's kind of really interesting. So I'm going to just apply some mascara. Today I'm going to use the Maybelline Big Shot. Next, I'm going to take the highlighter that I used, and I used the Smashbox and Casey Holmes collab in the shade Pearl. And I'm going to take this really small pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30. It's a really just small pencil brush. And I'm going to go in with this lightest shade right here. And I'm going to add this in my inner corner. Just a little bit. And I'm also going to add this on my brow bone. So pretty much what else did I get from them? I got a lip pencil base. So this is like a lip base. Not sure what that's for. This is a lip eclipse. Girl, this color is bright. And then this is the In Shades Power Lipstick. And this is a really pretty color. So I'm not sure... 
I'm not going to put this on my list because this is really bright, but I am going to swatch this. So the lip base is pretty much like a lip liner in a way. Like you can either line your lips with it or you can fill your whole lips in with it and then go in with like a lipstick. And then the Lip Eclipse is like a, a very bright neon kind of... I don't know, it's not really drying down matte, so it's like a shiny liquid lipstick. That's what I would say it is. But I'm definitely not going to use either of those colors just because I feel like the purple would work, but I really want to try out this lipstick. This is definitely not a matte. It has a sheen to it, which I'm not a big fan of those. But as you can see right there, it does have like a little bit of a sheen, which is not horrible. It's a really pretty color. It's got a lot of pigment in it. So I want to see what these two colors look like. So I want to do the lip base and then do the lipstick on top. Maybe it will make it like more of a purple. Okay, so this is the Rhapsody Lip Base, and it does not have a color, so it's like a very dark purple. Um, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. By the way, this palette does have a mirror, so I'm going to use this palette. I wonder if you could just wear this as a lipstick alone. This is what the lip base looks like. It's honestly really pretty, but it's like not creamy enough to be just a lipstick. It's kind of like opaque in some areas and it's not, and it's like sheer in others. So it's like you don't really want to wear this as a lipstick. Hopefully this doesn't look too bad. I don't know. Do you guys think? I think it's too like purplish. Some of the lip base came off of my lips onto the lipstick when I was like going over my lips. So that's kind of weird. Like I don't I don't like that really. I don't know how I feel about the lip base. I do like this color though, this lipstick, but I got ruby red lips. Alright, let me go get a different lipstick. I'm going to put on Kat Von D in the shade Sanctuary. This is really pretty. That will match the look perfectly. I definitely like this color way better. It matches perfectly. It's so cute. I love this look. This is like a perfect look for fall. Also, like, I'm living right now. Okay, and this is the completed makeup look. I really like a lot of their products. The ones that really stood out to me are the Kabuki brush. I absolutely love this brush. It blended out my foundation really fast and really easily. So, and it didn't make it look cakey. And then I also really like this eyeliner. It has not budged and it's like so perfect. Like, I really like the brush that it comes with also. E06, this is such a good brush as well if you really want to get a really sharp um, wing. Perfect. So, love these. Um, I'm pretty much a very big fan of their brushes, the ones that I've tried out. The ones that I have tried out include the E55, the E40, the E65, the E60, and the E70. The only one that I did not try out, oh, and the E30. The only one that I did not try out is the E05, and this is just another pencil brush that you can use for your eyeliner, but I wanted to use the really precise one just because I was doing a wing. The products that I'm not really a big fan of are like the eyeshadow palette. This did not really win me over. It's not really anything new. It's nothing like special. It's nothing like you have to go and buy it right now. But it does have a cool selection of shades. It's not like my cup of tea, but if you just want something that's really neutral, really like, I don't know, kind of like plain shades in a way but they're like fun to play with you can create so many different looks because there's a lot of different shades and a lot of different variety in this palette but overall I really like the mattes and the darker colors definitely have a lot more pigmentation to them than the shimmers we definitely found that out and I'm not the biggest fan of this late lip base lip lip 
base. Um, this kind of came off when I applied the lipstick on top, so that's not, like, what is the point in having a lip base if it's just going to come off when you apply the lipstick on top? And I'm not a big fan of these two lipsticks. This is just so bright. I do not wear bright colors like this, and you guys know that, so. And this lipstick, this is alright. Um, it's very smooth, it's very creamy, but it does have a sheen to it, so just be aware of that. So I also did receive this makeup brush cleaning mat. This you use with like their little makeup um, brush cleaners. They gave me two little ones, so I will try these out. They say that they're 100% natural, so that's got to be good for your brushes. Like, that is cool. And thank you so much, Sigma, for sending me these products. It was so nice and generous of you. Thank you again. Um, I really like your brushes, and I just, I think you have some bomb products, to be honest. And not some bomb products, but that's okay. It's okay. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and hit that notification bell so every time I upload, you're notified. And let me know down below if you guys have tried Sigma brushes before. I just am curious, and I want to know some of your favorites. Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.